Let's go wing bitches. This is a GL 1500 6 cylinder, about 100 horsepower. <laughs> This will smoke pretty much any production Harley in the quarter mile, 12.9 12, 12 second quarter mile. Light up the tires and cruise all day long in the lap of luxury. This is a true, this is an interstate model, 10th anniversary. That's what I'm saying, it runs like brand new. Give me a quick riding demo. Guys. 1500 cc six cylinder single overhead cam with two key and constant velocity carburetors these things are luxury liners this is they call it an interstate for, for a reason it's designed to go 85 miles an hour all day long this one's barely broken in showing 31,000 miles on the odometer it's uh these are good for 300,000 miles these engines regularly see them with over 100,000 31,000 on it. It's been upgraded with a nice windshield, uh, brand new battery, and it's ready to ride. Hey, old girl scoots out the way. Guys, this is the 1991 10th anniversary interstate. And if you zoom in, you'll see it has a gold plaque on it. It says celebrating, celebrating, celebration of a decade of US production of the gold wing. They're made right here in the United States. This is number 734. They're numeralized. I don't know how many they made, but beautiful gold paint job on it. All original paint, 31,000 miles. It rides like a brand new motorcycle. These are designed for all day riding and if, if you want your wife to be comfortable you can't there's there's not a there's this is not a king queen seat this is really a throne on the back of this thing i mean she could fall asleep on this and uh, not fall off it's got the little side guards on there has some storage containers for plenty of room to put the helmets and jackets in the back of it um the fit and finish on it is spectacular I mean, you'd be hard pressed this to find one with 31 only 31,000 miles on it um, the Manic Mechanic just put a new battery in it, the original battery, uh, actually I'm not sure if it was the original battery, but the battery in it was a little low. So they put a new battery, checked the charging system, checked all the fluids, the oil's like new. Um, like I say, it's, it's ready to go. This, this shield is nice, it, you feel like you're actually riding in a cockpit because the wind blows completely over you and your passenger. When I took my new Harley out with Christy on the back, the windshield's only about this high and she ended up... Uh, not very happy because uh, she had to hold on to her glasses all day because it kept on blowing off her head. So we upgraded the windshield to a taller one. The taller windshields are, uh, this, if it was raining out, with this full fairing, you've got, you could ride this in the rain on the highway and, and basically not get wet because you're, you're pretty much completely protected. If you're looking for a bike to hop on a ride cross country, your ship just came in. This, um, this could be registered as a classic because it's over 20 years old. So your registration, your insurance, your taxes are going to be pennies on the dollar. And they're going up in value at this point. They've been completely depreciated. Super beautiful metallic gold paint job. Uh, no evidence of the bike being dropped or abused. The gentleman we got it from was a collector. He had a 78 Goldwing. He had this one. He had a CM400 and a CL350. So he was a Honda guy and he took really good care of it. Um, these tires that are on here, if, if you're going to ride it cross country, I'd put a new set of tires on it. The tread's decent, but they got a little dry checking on them. They're 2016 date code, so the tires are eight years old. I'd, I'd, that's about the only thing I would do to put new tires on it. It's also missing the um, the cover for the stereo here. This is, this is a little uh, slip fit cover. We did confirm the stereo does work. Um, Give me the down bullying, different and back and I'm pulling it. You could. It's quadraphonic, four speakers. You could, you could upgrade the stereo uh, to a more modern unit. Um, the stereo is actually underneath here, and I, I couldn't figure out how to get to it. I, I don't know if it's missing the latch or something, but uh, um, we, I couldn't open up the stereo to look at it. But we did open all the other compartments, and let's show them the trunk, Ronnie. The, the trunk of this thing 
is huge. It, it's, it's big enough to put two helmets in there for sure. Um, show them the, sa the saddlebags too. And inside the trunk looks like brand new. If you're a collector, you're a Goldwing collector and you don't have a 10th anniversary yet, well, your ship just came in, man. This would be a, a good addition to any collector's inventory. Um, it's gonna be sold with a low reserve and uh, mechanically, it rides and runs like a brand new motorcycle. These have air suspension in the front. And uh, let me, I got the specs of the engine for you right here. Let me read this to you. Um, Five-speed transmission, shaft drive, tubular steel cradle frame, air adjustable telescopic forks. Uh, let me shut it off. It's liquid cool, so you can let it idle. You can let it idle all day long, unlike your Harley, which is gonna heat up big time sitting in traffic and you gotta shut it off. Pro-Link air adjustable rear suspension has a, show them the front brakes, a dual 296 millimeter disc brakes, twin piston calipers, single 316 millimeter disc in the rear with a, a dual piston caliper, 130, 70, 18 front and a massive 160, 80, 16 rear. Low seat height, only 31.1 inches and it weighs 797 pounds, which is substantially less than a new Harley Touring bike. Um, they made this particular engine uh, for a 12 year run. They're notoriously bulletproof. One of the favorite, most beloved Goldwing engines ever made. And it'll rock, it'll, it'll, this thing will tear the house off the foundation, definitely. It'll light the tires up, no problem. It's a four stroke opposed boxer, six cylinder, single overhead cam, two valve per cylinder. It's actually 1,520 cc's. Uh, compression's 9.8 to one, liquid cooled. Again, dual 36 millimeter key and carbs, electric start. It's rated at 100 horsepower, which will take you down the highway at 80, 90 all freaking day long. Um, it 111 foot pound of torque. Shaft drive, low maintenance. Really, it's it's the ultimate touring machine. That there's nothing better than a Goldwing. And uh, even though this is a 91, it feels thoroughly model modern when you're riding it. So. Electric start, original stock exhaust. The fairing has some built-in cooling ducts on it too. You can open or close these on a hot or cold day as you see fit. There's storage up in the uh, fairing also on both sides. So, and tons of storage in the back. So, if you, um, if you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. We, we do financing here through Freedom Road. Um, we can ship this anywhere in the country or fly out here and ride it cross country. If you're gonna do that, let us put some new tires on it for you. You can pick out whatever you want, put some new Michelins on there or some Frellies, whatever floats your boat. But this one's a diamond. That's probably the only burnout it's ever done based on the guy I got this from. He's an older dude. I don't think he ever did a burnout on it, but I, I just wanna demonstrate these aren't, these are sport touring bikes. They have a lot of power and they handle great. And uh, th they'll zoom down the highway with the best of them. So this again, 10th anniversary. This is number 734. Limited production, limited edition, 10 year anniversary model. Thanks for watching and God bless America. Approved to diamond.